difference between stateful and stateless firewall. You might already know firewall acts as an obstruction between your network and potential threats from outside the world. They help keep your data safe and secure. Now there are two primary types of firewall, stateful and stateless. Let's examine each one individually and explore their differences. First, let's take the stateful firewall. As the name suggests, these firewalls maintain a record or a state of connections passing through them. They keep a track of context of each network packet, including the source IP, destination IP, ports, and connection status. Stateful firewall use this contextual information to make more informed decision about allowing or blocking network traffic. They analyze the entire packet, looking at the complete data flow and can even perform deep packet inspection to identify potential threats and malicious activities. This type of firewall is situated at layer 3 and layer 4 of the open system interconnect of the OSI model. Check out my video series and OSI model and various protocols in each one of them. I'll link them on the video cards as well. Now let's move to the stateless firewall. Unlike their stateful counterparts, stateless firewalls don't maintain a knowledge or memory of the past network connections. They simply evaluate each packet individually without considering the historical context. Stateless firewalls primarily rely on predefined rules and access control lists to determine whether to allow or block these traffic. These rules are typically based on criteria such as source and destination IP addresses, ports and protocols. They make quick decisions based solely on these predefined criteria. Now, what's the difference between or so what are the advantages and disadvantages of each type? Well, stateful firewalls provide greater security by considering the entire data flow and context of each network packet. They can detect and prevent certain types of attacks that stateless firewalls might miss. However, they also tend to be more resource intensive and can introduce some latency due to their analysis process. On the other hand, stateless firewalls are pretty lightweight, efficient and very easy to configure. They are suitable for very simple network setups where only basic packet filtering is required. However, they lack the sophisticated analysis or capabilities of stateful firewalls and might not catch more advanced and complex threats. Here's a quick table to explain the difference between stateful and stateless firewalls. Stateful firewalls in terms of context maintains a record or a state of connections passing through it, whereas a stateless firewall does not maintain any knowledge of past network connection. Stateful firewall for packet analysis, it analyzes the entire data flow and context of network packets, whereas stateless firewall, it evaluates each packet individually based on predefined rules. Stateful firewalls provide greater security by considering packet context, whereas stateless firewalls offer just basic filtering based on predefined rules. Stateful firewalls are more resource intensive and may introduce latency, whereas for stateless firewalls, as studied earlier, it is lightweight and efficient and has very minimal impact on the performance. Next, stateful firewalls are far more complex in terms of their setup and configuration. But in case of stateless firewall, it is very easy to manage and configure. Lastly, the most important one. Stateful firewalls are suitable for more complex network setups and advanced threats. But for stateless firewall, it is suitable for simple networks and basic packet filtering. Now, ultimately, the choice between stateful and stateless firewalls depends on your specific network requirement and security needs. In complex environment with high security demand, a stateful firewall is a much preferred choice. And for simple networks in scenarios where performance and simplicity is crucial, a stateless firewall might be efficient. And there you have it. 
difference between stateful and stateless firewalls. But remember, network security is a crucial aspect for protecting your data. So choose the firewall that best suits your needs. All right, then. Thanks for joining me in this video. I hope the video helped you understand the distinction between stateful and stateless firewall. Stay tuned for more exciting tech discussions. And until next time, stay secure and keep exploring. And I hope you all have a lovely day ahead. Bye now.